I'm a man of faith. Step, step, step. <laughs> I was really hoping for some uh, some goodies in here, like some shotgun shells or health items. I guess they gave us an ampule, which is better than nothing. There's at least one more door to try over here. This one. No. And then nothing else. So what did they do? They... I haven't tried one of the bathrooms. Maybe there's something in... Jeez. Alright, is that all of them? That's all of them. You know, and the worst part is they just know this is some kind of puzzle. Because there was already the bucket... The blood bucket? Yeah. Alright. Well, that was the first floor. Basement one. You're kidding me. Uh, huh. Well, that simplifies things, doesn't it? This button works. No other button works. Good luck. Have a boss fight. How do I have a map of this area? Where does the game think I am? The game doesn't know where I am. You open the map and it just has Silent Hill scribbled in crayon with a question mark after it. I guess? Oh, great, the morgue! Yeah, we all love morgues in Silent Hill, don't we? It's the happening place. I Yeah, memo, okay. Oh no, it's a big puzzle. Does everybody... It's the exact same puzzle with a different phrase. <laughs> no, look at this. They're, they're on different parts of the body. They're, are we gonna, do we have to deal with a puzzle with nine clues? Oh my god. Well, maybe eight. Oh man, there's, there's one on... There's one on every there's body. There's also there? numbers on every bed. Yeah, there are. You're right. Okay, good. So you're probably just supposed to figure out some kind of number. Yes. We need four numbers. A four-digit code. Here we've got some long thingamajig. Burn the one who knows no death. Pure. Adorned. Or no, adored by those above. No prayers within. Just simple love. And now the pining, pining hunter. The flames longing for his rebirth. A distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy body of his. Make it wind, dancing in the sky. That bottomless gut now a cloud, now a sigh. The sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. Four bodies return to ashes. Thus the door is opened. Thus the door is opened. Okay. So we need to find... Based on that clue, we've got to figure out the numbers of four bodies to deal with. All right, so what was the first clue? Let's eliminate that one first. All right, let's do that. Okay. Um. What? Oh, because I already read all of those. Okay, fine. Crematory door. Burn the one who knows no death. Okay. Let's, let's find the one who knows no death. Pure adored. No prayers. Simple. No prayers within. Just simple love. My guess is uh, the dove. Then we've got the piney hunter. Flames longing for his rebirth. That's number two. Burn up that heavy body of his, make it wind dancing in the sky. That bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. 
Is that three or is that ba- is that continuing? The that same would be one? three. I think okay. that's three. Heavy body. There's only one more after it. So heavy body, uh, with the clue bottomless gut. Okay, good. Sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. I think the keywords there might be either laughing lips or soulless shell. Well, let's let's go read the uh, the corpses. Yeah. A bit of corpse reading. Yay, my favorite. We call it cold reading. You know, because the good corpses. ones. Okay. We have memos for five of them, but we haven't seen all of them, so we better check them all. The grass the thrush so love to eat. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition. The cruel linnet. I don't even know what a linnet is. The black rook. And then finally... Cock Robin who hid the key away in ash in the oven all right. The place he held is empty now, and the doors remain shut tight. All right, that's that's. Well, that would the... be, that should be the first one, or maybe the second one. No, no, the. Oh. What was five? The lark's child lost all his words and walled himself up all the way. So there's no number on that one. The wren with pure heart yet unrefined. Okay, so what what, we, what it looks like we have to do is we have to um match phrases with birds. Yeah. Okay. So back to the memos. We now have all the different memos. So, the first one. Was that the the wren? Pure heart as yet unrefined. Okay, so we've already got that He that shall one not goes. ever grow old. So, the first one is the wren. Then, Pining Hunter. No, those words aren't there. Rook. No. Linnet. Pining Hunter. So here's the, the owl, owl yeah. is, is the heavy body with the bottomless gut. That's number that three. That was what, the third one? Yeah, the third one. I think that's the second one. You think the, the sparrow is? Okay, sparrow. Of course, they don't tell you what number it is, which is a pain in the butt. Then we have laughing lips and soulless shell. Can't be that one. Heart and oh no, uh, the sparrow must. I thought the sparrow was that one. I think I got them mixed up. So what was the second one? Wait, you think the sparrow is laughing lips? So the second one is the pining hunter, flames of longing, right? Yeah. So let's we can see. we can look at it actually. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Where to use the wren? Well, there's a whisper. That's a... Uh, no. You don't think so? Hmm. Could be the lark. You think so? For the second one? Yeah, it could be. What's the song I don't, of the I don't thrush? think larks are hunter, though. The pining hunter. The flames longing for his rebirth. A distant breath within the earth. No, I was... It walled himself up. That's why I was thinking within the earth. 
Oh. Well, maybe. In a cage where none want to stay, that kind of sounds like in the earth. Yeah, could be, could be. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll put that down, sure. Okay, so we've got Wren, and then Sparrow, or possibly Lark, and then Owl. And then we've got this one. Sweet blood on his laughing lips. Now, now there was one that said laughing out. lips, or There burns something. evermore that soulless shell. There's the wren, but we already used the wren. Pure heart as un as yet unrefined. Which matches really well the other the first one. Okay, so we'll keep that one as the wren. Dang it. Stupid thing. So the first the first line is Pure adorned by those above, no prayers within just simple love. Uh probably the dove. Yeah, okay. So then you think that maybe the wren is the fourth one then? Gosh. I don't know. This is that, that one's tricky. Let's stick with Ren for now. We can, we can. Uh... For the first one or for the fourth one? I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Now we need to start connecting numbers with birds. Zero. That's a six. Two. Oh, that one does have a number. Five, nine, eight, four. <laughs> this is what happens when you choose hard puzzles in Silent Hill 3. You gotta poke and prod around in the moratorium. Get a the morgue. pen and paper and hope for the best. Okay. This is the sparrow. Number one is the sparrow. Cause, cause the memos in the like the select bar, select button screen don't don't link the numbers. So we need to link the numbers now. Yeah. Here's the thrush. The thrush is number three. Number seven is next. That's the linnet. Oh my god. <laughs> Then we have the number eight. The number eight is going to be the rook. We got number four, which is Cock Robin himself. We've got a five. Five is the lark. The lark. The. Lark. We got number nine here. This is the wren. We have a zero. Zero is the kite. This is the dove. The dove is number six. And number two, finally, is the owl. I think the owl, we can agree, is the... The third one. Yeah. So we can put that in for sure. So third one would be number two. I hope that saves that. It does. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. We're just going to brute force yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out we're wrong. Okay. Burn the one who knows no death, pure adorned by those above, no prayers within, just simple love. Okay. We're going to look at that one. Knows no death, no prayers, simple love. Knows no death. The wren, pure heart, unrefined, makes us laugh with feeble lip smacking. Makes us laugh. But we know he shall never it grow old. It could be the wren. 
Okay, so we're thinking Ren is a good possibility for the first one. Um, let's let's keep looking just to see. The black rook is the praying sort, so that directly contradicts the first one. Um, we're on the linnet. Seeks out soul by black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear, but is cruel. That that also contradicts the first one. We got the dove. The dove's hope died. He chose his path. His flapping wings fell still. Drenched in scarlet, here they lay. His cheeks it's pale. Not the dove. It's not the dove. So the first one's not the dove. That was, I think, only the the only one we had as a other possibility for the first one. Yeah. The lark's child lost all words and walled himself up all the way. Heart and mouth locked up tight in a cage where none want to stay. Cock Robin hid the key in the ash. The place he held is empty now, and the doors remain shut tight. The thrush. So that... Hold on, hold on. I, I, we're just going through for the first one, and then we're gonna look at oh. the look at the second one and go through that one again. So this isn't this isn't the, the thrush is 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 contradicting too. This isn't him. Okay, so we're pretty sure that the first one is the wren. Yeah. Okay. Now let's look at the the second one. The pining hunter, flames longing for rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Pining hunter, flames longing for rebirth. Okay. So, longing for rebirth uh, contradicts death would drive him wild. It implies that he hasn't died yeah. yet. So it can't be the kite. Um, it's not the wren, because we think... Well, it could be the wren, but I doubt it. The black rook prays, hears gods in the skies, whisper positions gone without him, and glassy and dim are his Seems eyes. Nothing really relates there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. The linnet seeks out soul by black ambition... Frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. Still doesn't seem to match at all, huh? Nope. The dove's hope died. Drenched in scarlet, flapping wings fell still. That's a no. Probably not, yeah. Uh, the lark. Walled himself up all the way, heart and mouth both locked up tight. There's not really... The, the, the cage thing, it's, maybe... It's vague, but it's, it's there. But it's vague, but it's there. Cock Robin hid the key away in ash in the oven. There, there's another one. Doors, re I don't, I don't think doors remaining shut tight really relates as strongly as the lark. Possibly, yeah. The grass the thrush loved to eat gave him sweet happiness. He sank d deeper and fell into destruction and fatalist stress. That's that's also not. Oh, oh, so so if the rush if the... could be owl if owl's not right. Uh, okay, yeah. But the thrush. Isn't a hunter because it eats grass. That's yeah. another thing. Then you have the sparrow. The sparrow killed Cock Robin. So I don't know, we're thinking it looks like it looks like we're thinking Lark. Possibly yeah. Sparrow, but possibly Lark. The Pining Hunter. The Sparrow's not a hunter. So it might be Lark for the for the second one. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at Wren, Lark, Owl, probably, possibly Thrush, and then the fourth one. Sweet blood on his laughing lips calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. I don't think it's the kite. No, I don't think so. Makes us laugh with his feeble lips smacking sounds like a... Sounds like a... Um, I mean, it could be, just because the words match up, but it seems doubtful. Yeah. Okay. The rook. This doesn't seem to match up at all. I don't see it being the rook. The linnet. Uh, could be the linnet, but I don't... I think there's one that fits better. Okay. The dove. It's not the dove. No. The lark. 
It's not the Lark. Nope. Cock Robin himself? I don't think so. Ash in the Oven. That that oh. is that could be it, but it it's still not. I don't it, think it, this it, is the it's one. Just it's just not. It doesn't. It's not really that close. The Thrush. Nope. The Owl probably not. He eight and eight and eight. That's almost it might be the Sparrow. The if the Sparrow killed Cock Robin, then maybe he belongs in hell. Is what's going on here? Oh come on, game. Sweet blood, laughing lips, calls him to the gates of hell. I mean, if he killed Cock Robin, he might have blood on his lips, right? Like that. Yeah. And if he if he so, if he's a murderer, he gave up his soul, maybe? Question mark. So I, I'm voting for Sparrow. Sparrow. Okay. So right now we've got Ren, Lark, Owl, Sparrow, which would be nine. Five, two, one. We're gonna go try nine five two one. All right, let's solve this puzzle. Woo! And uh, you died immediately. Nine, five, two, one. Negative. Crematorium. On hard. Very complex puzzle based on the nursery rhyme, Who Killed Cock Robin? With a five-verse riddle etched into the locked oven door. Each gurney has either a covered corpse or is empty, carries a brief poem related to a single character from the same literature. The key is that the first four of the five verses on the oven each describe a character. It's your task to mask up, match up each of those verses with the correct character based on the corpse memos. Uh, the code will be deciphered from the gurney numbers of those corpses in the same order the verses are listed in the oven. All right. The first four verses, the ones that we were reading from the crematorium thing, are the ones that we want to look at. The, you know, the burn, the one who knows no death, the pining hunter, the heavy body, the sweet blood. Now, below you will find memos from each gurney. I've also marked which above character they correspond to with the same mark as 80, but we'll go over the full solution below is what the thing I'm reading says. So he says... That D, the, the, the sweet blood on laughing lips, matches the sparrow and the owl. He says that C, the burn up that heavy body, matches only the linnet. Oh, he's got a typo in here. He's got a damn typo in here. Are you kidding me? What kind of typo? Well, he doesn't have a B. So, the rook knows no death. Um, the wren, the wren's, okay, the, we were right. The wren is the one that knows no death. B, the pining hunter. The owl is the pining hunter. Verse C. <laughs> Bottomless gut sounds just like the owl, but we already determined him to be the pining hunter. And he's not the only bird who likes to eat. The sparrow has blood on his lips. And the thrush loved to eat. We can eliminate the sparrow, who doesn't line up with the rest of the verse. Uh, the thrush, though, has the theme of heaviness and sank even deeper. The linnet's number is number seven. This is, the, this is the only verse that mentions her. All the others say he, his, or him. So who is this her, since it's clearly not Cock Robin or the linnet? Th this, this verse, the he seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, sounds like Stanley Coleman, who left the memos. <laughs> He, his new name is number seven, and he is underground now. The linnet's number is number seven. Therefore, Stanley oh, is the linnet, and that's the third verse. <laughs> verse D, um, sweet blood on laughing lips. Who has blood on his lips? That's the sparrow who killed Cock Robin. So the code is 9271, which is really close to something we tried, but we did not ever try the linnet as the third seven one. Would, yeah, seven we never tried the, the linnet as the third one. That's, that's nonsense. All right. See what we did? We didn't think outside the box. We didn't think to another memo. From a different character who said that he ha he's number one in a thing that didn't end up in a memo. It was a cutscene. And so if you forget about that cutscene, you wouldn't ever solve that. 
because this game is monstrous. I got a cremated key. There's nothing in here except for ashes. Well, that's just great. So wait, that means you were right about the hunter being an owl, and... I was right about the hunter being relevant, yes. Yeah, but it, but that's like the only clue that matches that one to the owl, isn't it? it it's pretty darn close, yeah. Alright. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? Um, cool. Let's, um... Where was even there a locked door? Hold on, open this stupid thing. Where do we have a locked door? We have that bucket in examining room four. That's not helpful. Um, oh, we have the locked door on the first floor. That was ridiculous. That friggin' puzzle. And then it's like, oh, by the way, it's actually the clue that you got from a cutscene that doesn't get recorded in the memos. What? I, I'm, I'm actually pretty angry about this. I'm, I'm a little angry, yeah. It's, 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 it's a combination of baffling and angering, yes. It's both of those things. All I, like, a Silent Hill game, solving the puzzles in it is something that you should be able to do while you're sitting there playing it. This is something that you would have had to sit back, possibly done a day of research on the, uh, if, I mean, we're talking a time when you couldn't have looked up the, uh, I didn't even know that was a that was a nursery rhyme or whatever it was. So I had heard I, of it before, but I don't know it by heart or anything. We're gonna call this episode here before we go through the locked <laughs> door because this is already almost three hours, and I'm just very angry and sad. <laughs> we lost the puzzle. We lost. We failed the puzzle, and you know what? We failed two puzzles in a row. We failed two. I mean, we've failed every puzzle in this game so far. No, we haven't. Pretty much, yeah. Everything that would be considered a puzzle. Looking at the numbers on a, on a, on a looking at the arms on a clock is not really a puzzle. That one, like anything that was beyond like, anything that was beyond like obvious or very close to obvious, we have failed. The the hardest puzzle that we were able to actually solve that was hard was the puzzle where we had to combine three items instead of two items <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's that is hard i mean like i picked hard well, level puzzles fair, on the first two silent hills and they weren't this bad to be fair if we had let go of the notion that the owl absolutely had to be the third one, because we had we had talked about that, we had we had said that the owl could also be the second one, yes, and that possibly the thrush or something could be the third one. I, I have did... all, I have all the records of the things that we've tried and the things that we the ideas that we had. At no point ever 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 is the third one a big question, and at no point is a possible answer for the third one seven. Yes, but what I'm saying is that it, <laughs> that if we had if we had just sort of like let go of the notion that the owl had to be the third one and made it the second one, we probably would have brute forced the third one at some point. So maybe it maybe we would have solved it sooner. That's not solving though. If you have to brute no, it's force not, it, but it's I mean, not solving. Well, eliminating options is a form of solving. I guess. Man. But I don't think that I would have ever figured that one out just sitting down and like like I wouldn't have figured it out properly. Well, like, no matter what, we, just because of the so third so, one. so so the thing is that we had spent so much time looking at those damn rhymes that we completely forgot about the my numbers number seven I'm underground now. The no, I wouldn't scene. have remembered that anyway. Yeah, I would I, not have remembered that. I would. I, well, my assumption my assumption was that we were going to go underground. And that, um, like, we were going to find another row of doors, you know, like, you know, A1, A2, A3, A4, and he was going to be in A7. And that didn't happen either. So, we will call this an episode. I will probably cut this into two episodes for the purposes of YouTube, because a three-hour video 
in which we are fumbling on two different puzzles can easily be split into us fumbling in two puzzle, one puzzle each per video. <laughs> the entire hour of us fumbling with that puzzle could just be put up as its own video. I'm going to do that, in, yes. <laughs> it's like Corinic and Muppy being idiots for one hour. Not really idiots, just not quite picking up on very, very subtle hints. All right, we will call it here. Uh, to everyone, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for chatting, Silly Master. Um, Muppy, you want to say anything about your channel or anything like that? I mean, not particularly. I'm just VTubing over at Muppy Hindgard on Twitch. So, Can uh, you spell Hindgard? Yes, I can. H-E-I-N-G-A-R-D-T. Awesome. All right. Was that was that your revenge from when I made you do that on my stream? <laughs> well, you, I was I was wondering if you were gonna. I mean, I, I figure I may as well. Heingart is a lot is a hell of a lot harder to spell than Korunik. There's like you could you could say Korunik to me about fifteen different times, and probably my last guess would be the way that one is spelled. <laughs> Korunik. The I mean, only, I would have started with a C. For the, only, the only question is whether it has a C, a K, or a CK at the end. Those are your three options. C-O-R-A. C-O-R-A. Oh, I guess you're right. I guess the first K could be a C. Okay. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. But that still only leaves you with, like, six options. No, no. That's that's a whole bunch of different combinations. Because then you have the CK, or just the K, or no just one the C, or a double a word, K. No one hearts a CK, starts a word with CK. And no one starts a word with double K. And no, I'm talking about the end. And at the end, no one would end it with double K either. That's just that. It's the internet. People end it with the, the, people both start and end with triple X's. Oh God, you're right, aren't you? Damn. All right, fine, fair enough. And well, despite the fact that I can work all of that out, we couldn't figure out that puzzle together. <laughs> <laughs> but the question, the question on everyone's mind is, how the hell do you spell Muppy?